Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to get a chargeback on debit card. When a debit card transaction goes awry, understanding the chargeback process is crucial for resolving the issue. Here are the key steps and considerations involved. Contacting the merchant. The first step in disputing a debit card charge is to contact the merchant directly. This is considered proper protocol and can often resolve the issue more quickly and amicably than involving the bank. Valid reasons for chargeback. Chargebacks can be initiated for several valid reasons, including unauthorized transactions, non-delivery of goods or services, receipt of defective or misdescribed items, incorrect billing, and unissued refunds for returned merchandise. Reviewing the transaction. Identify the transaction you want to dispute and ensure you have valid reasons for doing so. This could include not receiving goods, receiving defective merchandise, or being a victim of fraud. Gathering documentation. Keep detailed records of any communications with the merchant, including dates, times, and the content of conversations. Also gather any relevant documentation, such as receipts, invoices, and proof of non-delivery or defective goods. Contacting the bank. If the issue cannot be resolved with the merchant, contact your bank to initiate a chargeback. The bank will assign a code to the chargeback request and launch an investigation to determine if the claim is valid. Time limits. Cardholders typically have up to 120 days from the original transaction or expected delivery date to file a dispute. However, there may be extenuating circumstances that can extend this deadline. Chargeback process. The bank may temporarily credit the cardholder's account while investigating the claim. The merchant's bank will be notified and the merchant can submit documentation to refute the chargeback request if they believe it is invalid. Fees and consequences. Chargebacks can result in significant fees for merchants and excessive chargebacks can damage a business's revenue stream. Merchants may also face higher fees or even the revocation of their ability to accept debit cards if they have a high chargeback rate. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.